Hi. So I'm going to try this again. I've tried six times to create this video and I fall asleep. I get very sleepy and like uh, stuff starts coming in and I just start. So today is a new day. I'm going to try and get this done um, because everybody's like feeling it and people are speaking about this wave. Like it's awesome. It's such confirmation to me. Like, yay, uh, what I heard is real, you know? Uh, the thing is, is that there's so much involved in this, and there's some things that i am got to talk about that maybe i um, not picking up on, and uh, my guidance is like, you need to get this video out so people can hear all the parts of the wave, so that way um, they can anchor those things into their life experience, into their experience. Disclaimer, uh, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, you know, uh, we all have our own truth, um, you know, what is in alignment, you just receive, and if something feels similar, you just receive, and you, you make it into your own, you know, um, <clears throat> so last week we had that, um, what they had called the advanced light worker wave. And basically it was like, you know, kind of to strengthen the ones that have been working really, really hard because for what was coming, this one, then there was a huge purge. As you can see, this is how I do it. Um, I'm a healer and I'm working on that program of how to purge the energies that I receive during healing sessions. And, um, I used to get actually sick. I used to just, like get my stomach and stuff, but you can actually sit there and go into deep meditation and kind of like reprogram your, how your body, how it reacts to it. Um, and I'm still, it's still a work in progress because I really don't want this either, you know, but anyway, so that, that's why mm, a lot of us had like this purge going on. Uh, <clears throat> so I channeled this in on the third, the night of the third. So this was happening like that purge was happening like the first, second, third, like the right over the holiday. Um, the full moon, the last full moon brought in that other wave where, uh, it was almost like a, a, a big upgrade for people who, it's like the next level, the next level yourself up. And a lot of people who were able to receive it well, like leveled up what they feel like they doubled themselves almost like, uh, and it really, if you're, uh, if you're sensitive, if you're a feeler, you could almost like look at people online and you could be like, oh, dang, oh, dang, you know, that they really got big. Their energy, you know, and it's beautiful. That's beautiful. You know, this is what's supposed to be happening. Right. So what happened then is this purging thing came through right after that. And I want to say like the second, third, maybe was when it was. And confirmation of that. Oh, my goodness. I was counseling people like crazy um, how to uh, work through bowel issues man, like the purge was real for a lot of people. And so if you're still going through this, because everybody catches these waves in different ways, I'm talking about it now. And a lot of people will be experiencing it now in the now they're experiencing it. But then again, some people might experience this next year. You know, they time is just kind of on top of itself, you know? So <clears throat> when this resonates for you, this is when it is, you know, like when it's time for you to receive this wave, it, then it's when you should receive it, you know, only your own divine blueprint knows when it's time for you. Okay. So that being said, that was that purging. Now we're talking about, oh, oh and I have to talk about this. Um, when the information comes in, how I do it is I, I'm a healer. I work with medical stuff, medical intuitive. And then, um, I learned about the divine healing codes a long time ago, not a long time ago, but a while ago. And so the divine healing codes are really extensive. They are very specific. And I, uh, when I, uh, am healing someone, uh, through candle work, which is like a, a simpler long distance kind of thing that I could do. I basically do like a scan and then I receive inner knowledge of okay, like almost whispers of like, okay, use this, use this, use this, and in what order to use it in, because sometimes the order is good, like 
the order is necessary. Like sometimes things need to be purged first in order for the next thing to to sink in, to anchor in, and then after that, sometimes you need some, you know. So it's like a, a, an order of the way it goes through too. So that's why this was interesting, you know, how I channel this in because they're very specific as to no, no, this first. Okay, we're going to tell you about this because you need to look up something else. You know, it's very extensive. Anyway, the main gist of it all was like, I'm like, oh man, this is like a leap. And it was like, yes, you know, like screaming, like, ah, bing, 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 bing. And then lo and behold, I'm looking online and like Rasmus, uh, I don't know if you guys know him. Uh, I share his stuff. He puts up these uh, Palladian... Uh, <clears throat> channelings that someone else is doing and what those are for is they kind of like spur your higher selves thoughts and memories and like all of a sudden you may get glimpses of things that you're doing in the etheric that's what those are kind of for and if you don't get anything from them that's fine it's just not your time yet but eventually you you could you know if that's your program within you to receive if that's what your calling is, if that's what your thing is. Okay, so when I saw that he said that um, Terrans are, I guess that's how you say it, T-E-R-R-A-N-S, Terrans are preparing for the leap, I thought, oh my gosh, that's what I wrote. So I called this wave a collective leap. And so um, how it starts out, Every uh, wave now, they've, they've figured out that they almost do like an anesthetic. Like, uh, it's like a preparing you for this uh, energy. And so there's this feeling of like a motherly love presence. There's a heavy grounding. There's this um, push for a manifestation wave, like, um, like pushing you to create this to happen for, in your experience for yourself. Um, there is energy that comes through to help you with the transformation. Um, there is this uh, wave of fast, like that this is not a slow process. This is happening fast because mm, it's happening. You know, like it's boom, 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 boom. Like this is not, this is not going to stop. Like I was told that we're going to do wave, cleansing, releasing, wave, cleansing, releasing. Well, it, oh, they're all waves, but it's going to be like, an upgrade, you know, an upload, 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 and then a cleansing, releasing, because you have to release in between to create more space to, to anchor in more light. <clears throat> and then so that, so it's called, uh, it's like a wave of fast, uh, you know, help to, to, yeah. And then, uh, Archangel Michael's shielding for your auric field. And then uh, Archangel Raphael's shielding for uh, your energetic uh, health and well-being. <clears throat> so that it's like the most cleanest wave coming through. Nothing can be attached to it. Nothing can be, you know, it, this stuff is, this stuff is, nobody can mess with it. Like that doesn't happen anymore. Okay, then, after this, like, feeling, all this feeling of, like, um, the calming and the settling, you know, this, the, I call it, like, anesthetic, you know, like, you're, you're in a comfortable place, you're in this nice love, then, uh, a, this, these waves are gonna, are, are coming through, come, will come through, whatever, um, to, for you to experience certain energetic emotions so that you can anchor them into your life. So lately there's been so much whatever going on that I even hear people sometimes saying, I forget how it is to love. I forget what it's like for this. I forget what, right? So the teams thought, well, we're going to send that reminder. So this, so there was this wave of um, like love and respect for each other. Okay. Now how that comes through is where you're, where you're available, where you're at in life. So, like, for someone like me, I'm kind of, like, mushy-gushy. So, when a wave like that comes in, then I end up loving everybody. You know what I mean? Like, my feelings for everybody are just so much bigger. But, like, say if you're a person who's kind of closed off and you've gone through a lot of trauma and you're still working on things, maybe you might get a little bit more 
mm, people don't rub you as wrong or maybe that person that always just pissed you off you're feeling now a little bit of like understanding towards them you know it could be very subtle or it could be very big and depending on where you are in your path okay so like this love and respect feeling back and forth to people you know like going you go to the store and you see somebody is uh, struggling and normally you don't want to talk to people you don't want to mess with people this and that but suddenly you're overwhelmed with oh I'm gonna help them or they do to you you know you that this is kind of like this that, that type of thing so that's one way one of the ways bliss <clears throat> with the state of a, a state of events right now happening and and all this chaos and confusion and everything we really needed a, a wave of bliss and so it's like when you feel this celebrate it and and be like yes this is I love this I love this thank you thank you thank you and then you know, hopefully, not hopefully, truthfully, uh, you will now start anchoring this into your life. Also, experiencing unconditional love. So, what is unconditional love? Easiest, simplest way. When a baby uh, reacts towards you, that's unconditional. There's no conditions already in that child to frame the way they're going to love you. An animal, an, you know, animals unconditionally love ones that aren't that aren't damaged by people right <clears throat> they just want to love you that's what they're there for so imagine people being that way just doing things just because you know you may start experiencing that you may start doing it yourself you know hey this is the way it should be you know we have put too many conditions on our love like, you need to do this to me in order for me to do this for you, you know? Unconditional love is just loving for the fact of loving. So this, this wave came, I, I felt that a lot yesterday when I was out. And then, <clears throat> our child, you know, that, that we're so, um, so many people are in the, in the daily grind that, we forget how to be fun and how to play so this wave of joy fun uh, just go have fun is coming through as well so all of those energies come through and you know we're, we're feeling them in our experience and we're saying okay we love this and we want to keep it and so then you know yes so we celebrate that now if something happened this is a disclaimer coming through real quick if something happens to change it you know like say we're riding these waves and it feels so amazing and then like we don't feel it as much anymore don't fret don't stress it's coming again this isn't going to be non-stop this is going to be constant um uh upgrading and help so like if things feel a little different after that amazing feeling wave that comes through don't fret you'll turn around and in another no time you'll be feeling good again just uh, almost uh, the the guidance is just be in stillness if you uh, if you're angry if you're sad if you're depressed if you're this if you're that reach out to someone you know you trust but also know that it soon is passing <clears throat> okay and then, after that, there's a releasing of excess energies. Because when you're feeling all these love, bliss, wonderful feelings, sometimes it pulls up some old stuff, you know. Um, and so, uh, there was the, there's this wave of, like, a cleansing energy coming through. And then, a releasing, a releasing extra excess energies. Things that, you know, that are too much or that we don't need. And then what comes through is the cleansing of the negative um, energies in your experience. And that's just basically like a balancing. <clears throat> then after that, circuit upgrade. Imagine that there's a big ball of energy that comes through and sits on top of you. And that is to assist you during the rest of this. It's almost like as if so that way you can muscle through the whole upgrade. 
So that's one of those ones where, you know, you feel immense pressure on your crown or your God's mouth. God's mouth is back here, crown of up here. You feel like almost like a pressure, like crushing you. So receive it. Like just release and receive, like relax into it. Um, and it'll almost be like, okay, then it's not as heavy. And that is the energy you need for this, this thing. All right. So then all the chakras. So, so some of the things that are going to be in every way from now on is like this stuff. So all chakras. So you, it's like a wave that comes through that does it. So it'll be from top to bottom or bottom to top, whichever type of person that you are. And it's almost like a thumping, like a, you know, and so each one of them's getting fixed or balanced out, uh, just a, enough, you know, we can't just sit there and, and throw you into a, into a huge change, you know, because that would be just way too much. It's got to be gradual, 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 as much as you can handle. And then after those, those seven, uh, because the push for awakening is happening, the higher chakras are also being uh, ripened and balanced. So it's these up here, and um, the uh, it's like a um, a pearlish kind of a glitter ball looking thing. That's a soul star, and then the silver and the gold. So those higher chakras, those three, and then the the feeling of hope. Okay, uh, this hope from person to person. So. Uh, overwhelming knowledge that like things are getting better like uh that's all i can say about it it's just it felt so good when they were telling me about it like imagine that you know you speak to somebody and you feel like hey things are getting better and then you can then take that and go to somebody else and it's hope flow it's from one to the, to, the to the next 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 and it's received that's the whole thing that's why these waves are, are are you know coming through it's like you could be hopeful you could be a good hopeful person and if there's no wave to carry that into all the other people who sometimes are a little bit like blocked or uh not willing to receive then it sort of just gets stagnant it just gets you know and this way it's going it's bouncing from one to the person to the next to the next, to the next to the okay then also uh there is a wave to assist in breaking bad habits because when we are releasing densities you know sometimes it's through some bad habits that we're needing to uh release from our lives you know um could be as simple as like soda pop you know maybe somebody in their life experience can't have soda um it uh makes them not feel so good maybe that's a, a density in their life so it's a releasing of that big bad habit maybe mm, and maybe uh, a, a bad habit of a way you react to something or a way you talk about something or a way you act towards something or so um releasing of programs sometimes you need help with the breaking of a bad habit so there is this assistance wave out there to carry you when as people are awakening um you will notice that uh part of it is the catastrophizing i hope i say that right <clears throat> what it is is that Everything looks doom and gloom, and oh my God, we need to fix it now, and oh my God, uh, like everything's going to just go Pow! So this whole wave had to come through for that, uh, and that wave I, I'm hoping is hitting soon because I really have been seeing a lot of people uh, in battle war visions right now, and catastrophizing, you know, because you're awakening you're seeing truths you're seeing like oh my gosh we've been lied to and so everything seems like the worst it could possibly be but honestly it's not it's just going to get better now when you open your eyes now you can see the truth and now you can create the change when you don't see the truth you have no idea and so how can anything even change? 
So, right, catastrophizing, you know, we need to not be so um, worried about things coming to pass because we mentally are strong enough to rewrite what is happening. And I'll touch only upon a few words. Elections, virus, vaccine, and all that. We can change it. Okay. Uh, uh, and then embracing change. Because a lot of times what happens is, is that uh, when you awaken and you start seeing like, oh my gosh, there, this isn't true. Oh my gosh, what is happening? There's almost like this feeling of like, now what do I do? Well, embrace the change. Embrace the changes in you and start seeing the way things really are and embrace it. Love it. Live for that. You know, live for that no learning about what is real, you know, and not worrying or uh, sitting in a place of fear that, oh my gosh, this is how it's been. Nothing's going to ever change. Nothing's going to, yeah, that's not, things are changing now. Things are getting better. This is the beginning of something new. So embrace this change. Embrace this time. So then there's also um, what's called etheric attachments and etheric implants. Now I say etheric because I um, there's like all these different levels of uh, uh, the other side, you know, all the different realms. The thing is, I don't necessarily look at them in separate. I look at them all at one time and then I kind of can pull which realm I need to look at. So when I say etheric realm, I'm talking about the whole other side, okay? So... <clears throat> on the other side, there used to be um, mm, attachments and things. Or that when you are, uh, like for example, um, atta so attachments are energy. Energy in a way that is not flowing, basically. So let's say, what's a simple explanation? Let me reach above and ask for help. Aha. So say if you're a smoker, you're a cigarette smoker, right? And uh, that smoking, the addiction, the mental energetic need is an attachment. So when you break that bad habit, you're breaking it, but then now you need to pull it away from your experience. And so this is these waves of etheric attachments or etheric implants. There's a difference. An attachment is lighter than an implant. An implant, like like a smoking thing, you know? Like if you're a smoker for 20 years, that stuff is implanted into you, right? Uh, attachments could be more of like uh, something like, say, you get really addicted to a new person in your life, you know? And that you, you know, and it doesn't go like it's not healthy or it's not mm, in a positive way. So that would be like more of an attachment. You know, it's more of like something not as deeply embedded. Okay. So basically attachments are energy uh, in the non uh, best form. So there's this wave that's going to help with those two types of things. And then uh, now there's a lot of, uh, uh, so a lot of these waves are helping with the awakening and with um, soothing the experience. So, for example, uh, when we awaken and stuff, a lot of times we start uh, noticing the way people act, the way they present themselves. So the, the, the wording that came through is release emotional attachments to other people's expressions. And I'm like, what does that mean? Well, think about it. Uh, the way someone expresses themselves... If you don't understand it, you may have a uh, emotional attachment about it. You know, like like uh, sometimes people don't 
uh, show what they're feeling. And so there has to be this disconnect from that. Uh, so that you can only feel what they're feeling. You know, like we feel each other. That's how we communicate best. Is not through, because people can ha have masks constantly on. You know, not even realizing that they do. So as a empath or as a feeling person, as we keep upgrading, you're almost calling to other people to take off their masks and live in their uh, truth. You know, like somebody who always wears a mask of happiness, even though they're very sad, lives in kind of a lie, right? So we need to all love each other to help each other raise through that. And so releasing our attachment to uh, express expressions, <clears throat> that's only part of it. There's another part of it that has to do with expressions in the way of the way people act sometimes is not really what's in their heart as well so because like so example somebody who has hardened themselves because they don't want to show that they actually have a soft heart i'm thinking of like police officers need to be really hard need to look hard need to feel hard but in reality they are some of the most loving people yes they are because they take care of others who would go in the line of duty to get hurt for another person? You're a protector. So yes, they are good people. They are loving people. I know that there's some people out here that are very much anti-police, anti-military. And you're looking at their expression. You're looking at their mask. We are all beings of love. We are all... God, source, having an earth experience. So I am just like you. You are just like I. There is nothing different between us except this flesh suit that we are wearing for this experience. So then one, so an actual physical thing coming through is uh, improving of vision. Like <clears throat> when we're getting clarity, you know, up here, we also need clarity here so we can see better, you know, um, actually experience and notice things that, that brings more clarity. in. So, and then another one, which I thought was really weird and I had to dive into it and I, it took a while <coughs> is the easing of clicks of women. And I'm like, what? Because me, I was kind of like, oh, women are amazing, you know, we're so amazing. We're, we're, you know, not that like we're the better sex, that's not cool at all to say, but almost like that we're the feelers, we feel, you know, guys are the doers. Well, no, a lot of times uh, women get together and they don't, and they get so close to each other and then they don't want to see the other people around them that didn't come out right I, I, this was really deep for me to to get into because I really didn't understand what they were trying to say so basically what it is is like women are very emotional creatures the feminine the feminine see even men could be the feminine as well so I'm not just saying you know when they say easing the clicks so easing um, the energy of like clicks in women and stuff and clicks are like groups you know like when like tight-knit groups what happens is is women uh, protect each other sometimes by forming little groups but then those groups get really strong and they get very nearsighted and suddenly that beautiful group that you created is almost um, not so nice because outsiders are now looked at as an enemy and I'm seeing this over and over and over again. And when the visions came through of how this works, I thought, oh, okay, yeah, I get that. So I say this little part of this video here, take that into consideration and just think about it and kind of watch around and see, okay, and and, and feel into that. You know, it, it's kind of deep. I, I, Me as a woman, I couldn't... Uh, 
accept that immediately because I was like, oh no, we don't do that. And then I was kind of told to shush and go, go just experience and just kind of open your eyes. And I did for a while and I said, oh, no kidding. That's true. So it's happening more and more and more because uh, of the deep feelers and finding each other and pulling each other so close and creating these groups and that needs to be eased. It needs to be softer, you know, it needs to be more, it's okay to have groups, it's okay to be sisters together, but it can't be so, mm, like, carrying the sword, like, like, oh, you know, nobody else is good as us. Mm -mm, we can't do that. We cannot do that. So that, that wave is coming through. Oh, and then, um, uh, so part of that clarity is being able to see false flag events and releasing from fear-based 3D mentalities. And so you will start seeing the change from people posting things about, like, doom and gloom to this is how we fix it. You know, it's not going to be fear, 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 fear. As people awaken and see that this is happening, that's happening, oh my gosh, we've been lied to, it's going to be a switch quickly to, okay, so this is what happened, we're not scared of it anymore, here's how we fix it, you know? So, releasing of the 3D mentalities, fear-based 3D mentalities, and the fear, the false flag events. Because, what are false flag events? They are things done by the media and by people to uh, draw attention away from something else. So basically what's going to happen is, is you'll be turning on TV and you'll see something and you'll say, what a load of crap, flip the station, you know. And over time, people navigate away from those things. The news, they want to be the number one uh, media, right? They e Each news, um, like CBS, NBC, Fox, blah, 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 they're all in competition, right? So... If you're turning them off because you don't like what they're say, they're showing because you know it's false, they're going to have to start changing their programming to call you back in, to draw you back in. This is how that works. It takes everyone, though. It's not just going to take a small group of people. It's going to take everyone doing this. And this is why these waves are coming through. They're for the full collective. Right, okay, and then this feeling of, and I didn't know how else to word it, but um, ground crew, so that's all of us, advanced connection to the source. So like, um, so everybody feeling their, their um, connection to the divine, to creation. Um, and the acceptance of divine intervention, because people don't, there's, you know, so many people who don't even believe in anything other than this here. And then uh, a wave of the simplest wave that is just simply like a poking, like waking the spiritually asleep. And then... Oh, right. The mysteries of the afterlife and creation revealed. So after the poking of the spiritually asleep, I'm going to give a little bit of like, hey, this is what's out there. This is Those are for the ones that are just, just waking up. And everyone else. I mean, like if there are pieces that you haven't received yet or that you didn't tap into yet, it's now available more. And then this was a big one. This was hard. I like this really was difficult to get in, but it was basically activating your true potential. So this is a big, big, big wave. And it's almost going to feel like being electrocuted. Like you're going to get knocked on your booty. Um, because, no, nah, I won't say that. You're going to receive it the way you receive it. But think about it. Like you've been sitting around like a lump for your whole life and suddenly now you're going to realize your true potential like that's huge that's huge so that's coming in
Okay, heal DNA. Now this was really special. This is going to be the wave that keeps coming through. So as uh, the collective has been upgrading and harnessing more light, we have been changing our DNA. Our DNA is now stronger. It's bigger. It's, it's different. Research it. There's all kinds of works about that information. People are so afraid of the vaccines and the this and the that that's coming out. Well, all about solutions always. So there were other things channeled in to me and groups that about that stuff and the changes that were being made because of, you know, the virus and the this and the that. And then it came about, we need a solution then uh, for if that timeline happens where we receive the vaccinations and they do have something in them. So we can change that. And there is a wave to heal DNA. And that's going to be nonstop. So your DNA is going to be nonstop upgrading, 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 upgrading. Um, if you have anything infiltrated within you that will affect you, it doesn't matter because it will be eradicated immediately the next wave that comes through and it will heal your DNA back up. Imagine that it is like being, um, it is, so uh, I recently met a Lyran starseed and in my vision I saw her come to the council and tell her findings of this thing that her team created and I met that person in real. <laughs> It's amazing how it's amazing what's happening. And that's exactly what she said. She says, I was dreaming about creating something that was going to be like armor for our DNA because this can't happen. And I'm like, I just channeled something in about that. And then we started talking and both of us had the same vision. And it's like, you know, like, oh, anyway, okay. So healing DNA, that's uh, so exciting. Okay, and then another wave of awakening further. These are just like, it's like imagine uh, when you're chipping away at a block, right? You're chipping, 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 chipping. So they're just keeping on. And then um, this wave of uh, camaraderie, finding the right friend or partner for you. Uh, business, friendship, romantic, uh, friends, you know, uh, anything. Because we need to uh, vibrate towards each other, you know, like-minded individuals. Yeah. Um, and then financial security. Okay, so that wave is not money, money, money. That wave is sort of like this understanding that... So with financial flow, it's like uh, willingness to give, basically, and receive so this wave that came through for financial security or that's coming through for financial security is almost going to be like a willingness to just spend and receive back. And if every single person felt that way, there would be no one with lack, correct? If what I needed was taken care of by someone because they had it and what they needed is taken care of by me because I had it, then there's harmony. It's a flow. It's like a water. Back and forth, back and forth. And this is the wave. Because there's too many out there who, it's like a, they call it, a, or the, the way they were showing it to me, it's like a dead circuit. With electricity, right? It has to, it, it has to be a circle. It has to be back and forth, right? So when one half of it stops flowing, it's a dead circuit. So, this wave of financial security is coming across the whole board so that way this flow can happen because if only half of us are flowing then we're not receiving back right okay that's the concept of that spiritual wounds from the church a lot a lot a lot of people are still stuck in the old programs of the patriarchal system that's a big huge thing and i'm not going to go any more into it than that
Okay, let's see. Right, and then the rest of this now is almost like giving us a kiss. After all that hard work of, all, of dealing with all of those issues within ourselves, then it's going to be this love and happiness overwhelming the planet, this feeling of harmony in all things, this experiencing of happily ever after in something. So you'll feel in your experience something, a moment, maybe even more than one moment, of almost like a happily ever after. And again, it's one of those things where anchor it. Feel it. Enjoy it. Do whatever you can to document it. Don't forget about it. You know, Make a video for yourself and tell yourself about the greatest day you had. Uh, and then... This feeling, oh, this was the best. This is what this was. This is why I said, oh, that's like a that's like you you're kissing us goodbye. You know, like here uh, is everything is possible. This feeling of everything is possible. Can you imagine that all of a sudden, all of us across the planet feel like this? It almost will feel like a breaking of shackles, like that this weight comes off of your shoulders, and you think. Or, or that the fog lifts from your mind and you think, oh, anything is truly possible. No. No, we don't have to have this. No, we don't need to do this. No, we don't have to follow this. No, anything is possible. Change could happen. We can change it. We don't have to follow exactly that way. This is a better way. Who is to tell us how we are to do things, you know? There had to be original people to make the rules, so let's make new rules. Within reason, you know? I'm not sitting here saying create chaos, havoc, and, and, and horror. No, I'm speaking of the things that don't work anymore because they're from a very old system where uh, uh, only... A few people were in control to a place of freedom. Freedom for all souls to be who they are supposed to be. Okay, I can't believe I got through it. Oh, hey, I'll celebrate this. Woohoo! So, uh, I have been cocooning a lot because there's only so much that I can handle. Know that. I see you texting me, and I'm holding you the best that I can, but right now I am dealing with my own stuff um, and receiving and working and doing. And so uh, I will get back to everyone when I can, but right now I'm kind of in a quiet time. I'm kind of in a quiet time. So um, love you all. And I hope this is very well received. Please share it if it resonates with you. Um, there's more to come. This is not going to stop now. Um, this is what's happening. And uh, we are... Oh. We have one. We wouldn't be able to receive all of this positive light, all of this positive waves if we hadn't won. So that's this last final message that came through. All right. Have a good one.